Good morning, good morning, good morning. My name is Vanita Hall, and if you're new here, welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber or viewer, welcome back. I'm glad to see you. On this channel, I do content about faith, fashion, lifestyle, and beauty. If you're interested in any of those topics, please stay till the end and make sure you subscribe. So today, from the title, you can see we're going to be talking about moving tips. I have five of them for y'all. So as you all probably already know, if, if you're new here, you might not know, but I moved from Pennsylvania to Texas. Pretty far move for distance wise. But the most questions I get, emailed, DM'd, comments is tips or suggestions or just people wanting my advice for their move. And I've answered it, um, I've answered it a few times already to the people directly. But some of them I started telling them, okay, I'm gonna film a video. And for those of you who I told that and you haven't seen the video yet, here it is. And I do apologize it wasn't out sooner. But here the video is because I want to just have somewhere where I can direct people so I don't have to keep saying over and over the same things. These tips can work for anybody. If you're trying to move somewhere that's a little distance, go ahead and use these tips because they'll really help you out. So let's get, without further ado, let's get started. So, and I do have these five tips written down so I don't forget them because I want to make sure that I'm giving you guys great information. So, number one is evaluate why you want to move and make sure you're ready to do so. I get people tell me about they want to move all the time now. And I just, I just want to make sure that people are moving for the right reasons. Don't move because you're trying to escape something. Don't move because you just want to, like, if you're trying to escape something within yourself, guess what? That will follow you wherever you go. I mean, if you're moving because you want better opportunities, go right ahead. If you're moving because you really love the city you're moving to, go right ahead. But if you're moving because, oh, such and such move there, like, don't just follow somebody else somewhere. Make sure you have the right reasons for moving. And then when I say make sure you're ready, make sure you're ready financially. Make sure you're ready emotionally. Make sure you're ready spiritually. Make sure you're ready physically. Because when you move somewhere, you have to be ready to do so. And, but on the flip side of that, sometimes people... Well, you will never be completely ready to do something. Like when I moved down here, I could say, oh, I was ready to do so. But at the end of the day, I, I was, if I would've just kept being like, oh, I'm not ready yet, I'm not ready yet. Like I did have a certain amount of money I wanna have in my bank account. Y'all, I moved without that in my bank account because I said, you know what? I'm believing God for this move and I'm gonna do it anyway. So you wanna be ready, but don't focus on being so ready that you never move. Tip number two, do your research. Okay, so learn everything you can about where you want to move. Don't move somewhere that you know nothing about. I hear people saying things about wanting to move places they've never been. I'm like, why would you want to move somewhere you've never been? I don't care. I Actually, I'm going to give you an example. I used to think I wanted to move to Austin, but I wasn't going to move there without going there because Austin is, was rated one of the best cities to live in. And I don't know if that was what year that was, but it was rated one of the best cities to live in. I went to Austin and I said, nah, no thanks. So just make sure that you, yeah, they're... Everything online may say great things, but make sure you physically go to these places. Make sure you're looking at reviews of people who actually live in these places. Like, I, I, I search YouTube videos of people saying pros and cons of Dallas and everything. Like, the pros and cons videos are a great thing to look up for cities because you get real honest feedback. Because the people who are saying that, the, the people who are making those videos, they, they're not trying to entice you to move anywhere. So they're giving you how they actually feel. So make sure you check that out. Number three, prepare. So prepare is just such a broad umbrella of things. Make sure you take care of whatever you need to take care of at home. Don't leave things, like don't leave loose ends back at home. Let's say if you're in the middle of an argument with somebody, like settle that before you leave and make sure that, oh, if you have doctor's appointments that you need to, um, that you need to, like if, it, if your physical's coming up, make sure you just schedule it and take care of it before you move. The last thing you want to do is be worried about certain things when you first get wherever you're moving. Or even just like for me, I got I made sure I uh, got my hair trimmed, got my eyebrows done, all that kind of stuff. So when I first got here, I didn't have to worry about too many things. And preparing also, this is one thing. For me, y'all know, I moved down here without a job, without a car, and without a place. But for a lot of people, they could not do that because that would just give them either too much anxiety or just they just want to feel comfortable. Make sure whatever you need to personally feel secure in this move that you take care of that. So if that's that you just need to secure a job. Well, secure that job first to make sure that you feel secure. Because if you're one of those people who like you will literally be down here like, oh, my God, oh, my God, I don't have a job. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Like then maybe you don't want to move without a job. Like moving without a job, a car, and a place, I, like to me, it was a good, it was a good move for me. It was a good idea, but I would not suggest everybody do that because I know everybody can't do it. Like I know personally I could do it, but it's hard, it is. 
but if you know you need certain things then take care of those certain things before you even get down here you know if you know that you need to know where you're staying well make sure you know where you're staying before you get down here and that's another thing about coming to visit it can help you secure some of those things a little bit easier number four remember what matters and I feel like when I say remember what matters, I was thinking of it like um, when you're packing up your things, make sure you remember um, important documents and like social security card, birth certificate and things like that. But then now, when I said it just now, remember what matters, I just almost, it almost like, I don't know, it was like I was, I was going a little deeper and I wasn't even thinking of it that way. But also when you do make this move, do remember what matters because for me, being here is makes me so much happier that... I don't care that my apartment's not furnished like and there's just certain things that you have to remember what matters to you personally when you make a move like this so remember those things and focus on those things during this move and then five last but finally is make sure that you take care of your business take care of your business along the way take care of your business when you get here because when you first get here it may be when you need to go the hardest because depending on how you move down here and what your circumstances are, you're going to have to go a little hard. You might have to go hard trying to meet people. You have to make, you may have to go hard trying to secure a job. You may have to go hard looking for places. Whatever you have to go hard, make sure you go hard when you get here and prioritize. For me, you know, when I moved down here, no hard, no job, no place. I prioritized them. I said, first, I want to find a place. Then I want to find a car. Then I want to find a job. I did so in that order so I wouldn't feel boggled down and feel overwhelmed. So make sure you prioritize what's important to you. And then even after that, now I'm a, now right now I'm at the step of, okay, now I'm going to furnish my apartment. But just make sure that you do those things because that will make it easier on you. And then I have some random things that I kind of want to throw in at the end. I don't know who all is watching this channel. I don't know who all is going to see this video. I don't know, believer or not. But I am a believer, so I will give you this tip as a believer. Make sure that you clear this move with God. So for me, I, I prayed about it and everything. And when I, I'm not one of those people who was like, God said move to Dallas. I'm not going to say that God said to move down here. But I will say after I prayed about it and everything, I had peace in my move. And for me, peace is something that when you have peace in something, that's, that's like the okay to me, okay? I have peace about this. So I did have peace with the move. But make sure that you do check, check, check with your daddy. Because that's, a, that's one thing that I will say is imperative. And when you have peace with something, then you go right ahead by all means. But just make sure you do that. You may have to make sacrifices. So for me, I've had to make lots of sacrifices along the way. And the things that I had to sacrifice are things like, okay, not having furniture in my apartment, not being able to buy all the clothes I want to buy, like just, and it's just, it's not even crazy things, but it's like, um, for me, I back at home, I was kind of starting to get used to living a certain kind of lifestyle because I had a certain amount of money coming in and wasn't really paying any bills and anything, but now it's like, oh, I got to pay all the bills in the world. So it just, you have to make sacrifices that can be a curve, but you have made, you make sacrifices to get where you want to be. You will be uncomfortable for me. There's been lots of times when I've been uncomfortable in this move, but when you're uncomfortable, that's when you grow. And I, I believe in being uncomfortable sometimes. Sometimes you have to put yourself in situations to be uncomfortable. Because if you're uncomfortable all the time, you're really not growing. Give it a chance. I see sometimes people move places and they stay there for about two months and then they're like, oh, I don't like it here. Y'all, I've been here for three months and I still don't feel like I've seen anything here. So I just, I personally believe giving it a chance, at least, I think you should give a city at least a year's chance because when you first get here, like you're just so focused on getting things done and whatever. I think you really need to give it some time to get used to. And that's another thing. It's going to take some getting used to, depending on how far your move is, of course. But moving from Pennsylvania to Texas, it, things are a lot different down here. And sometimes it's just like, like even just the way that people talk, the slang and stuff, they've been saying something like, huh, what? So, I don't know, it takes me to get used to, but for y'all, and I'm going to be completely honest here, everything is not perfect, but I wouldn't have it any other way. I'm glad I moved, and I encourage you guys to step out on faith and move also, but I also encourage you to consult with God first. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and I, I need to make sure that you guys do comment, like, subscribe, and share the video. One more thing. Okay, so comment down below any tips you have for anybody moving if you've made a cross-country move but then also comment down below where you're planning to move if you are because i know i have a lot of people who are watching who want to move and then i also have people who have moved so if you want to move let me know where you want to move because i don't know if everybody watching wants to move to dallas 
Maybe you do, maybe you don't. If you do want to move to Dallas, let me know what you, what kind of content you do want to see about Dallas, because I'll get out and film it for y'all. But thank you guys so much for watching. I love each and every one of you. See you next time. Toodle.